First of all, I'd like to say greetings to Professor Louise and all of his students and participants in this conference. I am very, very sorry that I was not able to make it physically there. I'm doing it at least by, uh, by the waves of the ether. I'd like to talk about dialogue and its implications in brief fashion. Uh, first of all, the word dialogue in all of our Western languages, as far as I know, all come from the root language of Greek, dia logos. Logos, as you can imagine, means logic, means thinking. Um, and dia, D-I-A, means across or together. So dia logos, dialogue, literally means thinking and talking, because how can I communicate my thinking except by way of words? So dialogue means thinking and talking together. That's the basic meaning. Now, when I talk about dialogue in the contemporary scene, I really mean to suggest uh, that we are using it in a very special kind of way in the last 50 years or so. Meaning, first of all, that nobody knows everything about anything. Therefore, we need to dialogue. In other words, I have to talk with you to let you know what I am thinking, what, how I understand something. And then you then respond by repeating to see if you in fact have understood me correctly. And then you state your position and we then try to understand each other where we agree, where we disagree, where we decide to, uh, to disagree. So basically, that's what the word dialogue means. Again, the basis for it, of course, is that nobody knows everything about anything, especially in the area of religion and the meaning of life in general, because it's so broad. Naturally, I, as an American on this side of the world, am going to have different views of certain things from, let's say, a Chinese Buddhist uh, young woman on the other side of the world. Doesn't mean that we won't agree on many things, but we're going to see things from different angles, and that's why we need to share together. So that's what fundamentally dialogue means. And when I'm talking about it in, in the work that I do, I basically talk about deep dialogue. And I talk about deep dialogue rather than just plain dialogue, so as to make it clear that what I'm talking about is something that goes deep into my inner self uh, that I want to share with you and I hope you will be willing to share with me. And it is not just a casual affair, oh, like, uh, let's have a conversation, let's have a dialogue now for two minutes or five minutes or whatever. Rather, by the term dia deep dialogue, I mean to indicate that this whole approach to life in general, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, um, needs to be a habit, the, the way that we just habitually, automatically respond, that we want to learn what the other person is thinking so that we can change. Yes, that's what I meant. We can change minimally. My understanding you correctly, as you think you uh, are th saying, to speaking out loud, but my thinking and understanding you correctly this doubtless is a change in me. Chances are 99.9% .9 I did not understand you completely correctly before we began to have this dialogue. And that's the whole point of our having the dialogue. I want under, to understand reality from your point of view. And presumably, dialogue means you want to try to understand reality from my point of view. Of course, that doesn't mean that we necessarily agree with everything that we uh, hear the other person saying. But first of all, we want to understand what you are really thinking and saying, and the same for me. 
Now, besides uh, deep dialogue, I also talk about critical thinking. Uh, this basically means, let's say the three W's. First W, what? What exactly, what precisely do you mean when you speak about X? Whatever X happens to be, religion or life or chemistry, you name it. Um, I want to try to understand precisely exactly what you understand when you say X. Uh, that's the what. Now you might say to yourself, oh, well, that's so simple, obvious. Let's get on to some, really, something really important. No, stop. This is probably the most important part of critical thinking. To get clear, first of all, what you are talking about, and then secondly, what your partner is talking about. That's the what. That takes real effort, and we usually get it wrong the first time, or so, for several times, or maybe all the time. Second W is whence. It's an older English word, W-H-E-N-C-E. -E. It means where does this information that you are talking about supposedly come from? Does it come from an original source, somebody who was an eyewitness of something, for example? Or is it a third or fourth or tenth hand a report of something? Is it um, a pos position uh, that it comes from someone who is in favor of a certain idea or is an opponent to a certain idea. Obviously, such views are going to be biased, and so you need to then adjust your taking of that information supposedly passed on um, as more or less accurate. That's the whence. Where does this come from? The third W is whither, W-H-I-T-H-E-R. Where is it going to? What are the implications if, in fact, what you say um, is, in fact, true? Especially if that idea is applied to other situations further on down the line or in parallel or in contradictory situations. The truth needs to be true all the time in all places. Otherwise, we need to re-spell it out. Okay, so that's the beginning of deep dialogue, critical thinking. Beyond that, the next is uh, we have to de also develop our skills in the area of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence it focuses on how do I, as a human being, relate to other human beings? Well, you might think, well, this is obvious, this is simple. Well, it's not always true. So many of us relate to other people in perhaps overbearing, in clumsy, in, in uh, way too silent, too talkative. Uh, we don't have a, a sense that we are relating effectively. Um, all of these elements, they're hard to, um, to fix on ahead of time, but they're absolutely critical because otherwise uh, we will be talking in a vacuum and what we say may go right by our person, our dialogue partner. And I would at this point also indicate again that getting the correct understanding of the words that we use, what the words that I use, and the words that you use. If we only have uh, 150 words in our vocabulary in general, we're going to be using very blunt terms in many instance, instances, and we're going to make a mess of it. It's like somebody who is a brain surgeon and has only a saw and a hammer to work with. This is not going to work well. We need to develop the understanding of words in order to relate to each other in effective ways. Fourth element, this all has to somehow eventuate into action. And so I talk about 
complementary uh, opposition. You might think, well, wait a minute. How or complementary competition? How can that be? If you're competitive, uh, you want to win, and that means the other one is going to lose. No, not necessarily. As a matter of fact, what I would advocate is that we work as hard as we can, depending on the circumstances, uh, to arrive at a not an either or. Uh, final position, but a both and position as much as possible. And in those uh, situations where uh, either you get the job of building this bridge or the other company gets the job to build the bridge, uh, we need to then have a whole approach which is going to be, we need to then move on and ask ourselves, what can we learn from this interaction, from this win-lose situation? How can we be creative in the future? How can we even collaborate with our quote-unquote opponent who has won the position and we haven't um, in areas that are related or even not related to it? In other words, we don't want to get stuck in a competitive mode. We want to make it to be a launching pad to be able to expand and develop positively our interrelations as much as possible. So these four elements, I would say, are what I really mean to talk about when I talk about dialogue. It includes deep dialogue, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and competitive cooperation. If you can do all of those things together, I think you will make a very major contribution to this world and the next. Thank you.